Hey, what's going on? Tony Crypto here, uh, talking about an important security measure. Uh, if you want to be anonymous as you can when it comes to crypto. So uh, Richard Hart, one of the guys that I follow in crypto, um, as well as a handful of other people have been talking about uh, RPC with MetaMask. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'm going to quickly ta- uh, read this little blurb here about it. Uh, and you know what MetaMask does with our information. They don't really track too much, but they're tracking, uh, they're gonna start to track IP addresses that that uh, log in. So a lot of people are saying, you know, you could use a VPN and hide your IP, um, but another simple way to do it is just use your own RPC. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this quick video here, uh, super, super quickly. So. Let me open this up here. So it says information collected by Infura when you use Infura as your default RPC provider in MetaMask. So MetaMask, uh, basically Infura are both products offered by the company and Infura is the default remote procedure call RPC is remote procedure call provider in MetaMask. When you use Infura as your default RPC in MetaMask, They will collect your your IP address, your Ethereum wallet address when you send the transaction. However, if you're using your own Ethereum node or third-party RPC provider with MetaMask, then neither Infura or MetaMask will collect your IP address or Ethereum wallet address. But you should be aware your information will be subject to whatever information collection performed by the RPC provider you are using and their terms regarding such collection. So if we don't want the default metamask to collect our information right we could change that by doing this so let me just x out of here uh so richard hart says ethereum is no good the only way to protect user data is to never have it a database of ip to eth addresses is unacceptable change your rpc and metamask to avoid this trash uh so a lot of people talking about it right now. Um, MetaMask, you know, collecting data. Uh, consensus says it co- collects IP addresses for MetaMask users. So people, you know, people are not liking this. There are new wallets that are going to be coming out, uh, especially with the Hex ecosystem. So I will update you on that as soon as that happens. Um, Internet money is one of them. Um so here, here's how we change it, okay? So there's a couple of guys made some videos on how to change it, but I have a super simple way uh, to change it, okay? So number one, and I didn't change mine um, in this account here for this MetaMask account here at the top right here, right? So number one thing you wanna do is go to chainlist.org. The URL is gonna be below this video, okay? Uh, then we are going to click Ethereum mainnet. Okay, Uh, once we click that, you're gonna see all these RPC server addresses here. Okay, any of the green ones up here are good. So I usually pick from the top five, okay? Just copy URL. Okay, so we got Bitstack, we got Ethy, Ethy, the secure server one I use for one, I'll just use that one, I just copied it, okay? So you're gonna open up your MetaMask, you're gonna log into MetaMask. Okay, this is my MetaMask. You're going to click Ethereum. So this is where you could actually add different blockchains to your MetaMask. Probably didn't know that, but I have Pulse Chain, Polygon, Avalanche, Phantom, Binance. Okay, so we're just going to click Add Network. If this is a brand new MetaMask for you, you're not going to have any of these, right? I added all of these. You're going to click Add Network. This thing's going to open up here. Okay, you're going to click Add a Network Manually. Network name, we're just going to put custom ETH because we're adding our own custom RPC. The URL that I just copied, right, from here, I just copied one of these up here. I just pasted right over here. New ARP chain ID is always number one. The currency symbol for Ethereum is ETH, right? And then the block explorer, we just want to go to Etherscan. etherscan Etherscan.io. Okay, we just go to the home page. We could actually just take take this out here. Okay, this is the main URL that we need. So we copy this URL, etherscan.io. 
and we put that as the block explorer. You don't have to. And then you click save. And that's it. As long as your your uh, funds show up in it right here, same exact funds that you had, then you're good. Super simple. Okay, assets. So now I can click, if we click up here, we're going to see that, look, we have our Ethereum mainnet. And then we have our custom ETH, RPC. So this is the one that you're going to want to be using your custom RPC network. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Super simple. Um, it looks like this one is having a hard time connecting. I'm not sure why. Never had this. I did I did my other, uh, here we go. Uh, let's actually go back here. I did this to my other uh, MetaMask accounts and I never had an issue. Maybe this, this RPC is no good. So maybe we might have to edit it. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So let's change it. This one seems like it's it's having an issue connecting. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess so. So let's go ahead and uh, click this again. And let's just copy the URL at the top here. Um, I guess, I mean, now it's working. Now it pulls in, it's pulling in all of my information. But if you're having an issue, like it's loading a little slow, you notice, you can just, you know, click this again, add a network. You can just delete delete the old one, add a network, and then just do it again with another RPC. But it seems like it's working for me right now. Um, so we can just click out on this. And if I click MetaMask here, you're going to see it's loading and all my coins are loaded and we're, we're on our custom ETH RPC. So this is how you're going to gain... Uh, more privacy uh, without the default MetaMask with consensus tracking your information. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for this video. I just wanted to show you how to quickly change your RPC uh, for Ethereum. And, um, uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.